ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Rap Survival. Today we return. I do apologize. I just want to get that out there that it has been a hot, hot minute since we have updated or posted any videos recently of this game. I was really hoping that there would be an update coming soon, um, and there really just is no update. There really wasn't even any talk about the game for quite a while, at least not on the Steam community. Um, which was a little disappointing. The last time we got any news of an update was when they teased a little bit of the uh, upcoming new animal, a llama, that was going to be added into the game. But today, earlier today, the developers over at Raft posted this. What you are looking at is a picture of the next upcoming update, the animal update. And ho oh, ho buddy, it brings a lot, a lot of very cool and very interesting new stuff to the Wrath Survival game. So, we're going to kind of go through real quick what this update is bringing to us. So, hello everyone, Christmas is creeping up on us fast, so we felt it was time to give you some more in-depth insight into what is going on at the Raft headquarters, our technicians, Pencil wielders and polygon pullers have been working hard in order to produce the exciting stuff we have to show today. We have posted some stuff on our social medias, but we have been a bit secretive about what they entail, so let us tell you a little more right away. So, yes, they have been extremely secretive of what is going on, and I noticed they kind of do that with every update just about, you know, they post a little bit of stuff, and then, you know, they kind of give like just a little teaser of what's to come and then they kind of leave the rest you know in limbo and you never really know what's going on so but they have finally given us a little bit of details as to what is going on so what you are seeing here is domestic animals that are going to be coming into the game and it's not just a llama so far they have teased about four new animals everything from llamas to goats to some kind of like a chicken freaking uh, hybrided with a, uh, what's it called, an ostrich type looking thing, uh, to even new land uh, animals that are hostile like a boar, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so let's get into a little bit more detail about what each one of these things do. The llama, as you can see here, the llama, they are showing that the llama is going to go ahead and provide wool. Now, they haven't specified what the wool is going to be used for, except that it's going to be for a future update beyond that. So, we can only guess that seasons or temperatures may be coming in and playing a role into this game. Uh, if they are teasing the fact that we'll be needing wool for something, because, I mean, obviously, you know, what else are we going to be using wool for other than to stay warm uh, when we're in the cold? You know, I, I can't really think of much else. Maybe to make a new bed? Our bed is kind of shabby looking, but it's the best bed that this game has to buy. Actually, isn't there a hammock? Have we never crafted a hammock? I think there is a hammock, isn't there? Am I going crazy? Where, where is it? Yo, I am legit going crazy. I swear to God, there used to be a hammock that you can make. I don't even see the bed anymore. I'm so blind. I apologize, guys, if I'm... Oh, here it is. There is a hammock. We never made a hammock. We're going to make a hammock today. Oh, no, we're missing the, the raft. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, it could be to make a new bed, maybe one that, you know, I don't know, does something special. But I can't really think of anything more special than being able to kind of just sleep through the night. Uh, so, honestly, I don't think uh, the wool is going to be used for the bed at all. But um, with that said, though... The next thing we have to take a look at is this, which is the, um, sorry, I'm trying to kill off a shark here. Hold on just a second. Oh my goodness, little sharky was giving me some problems there. Uh, so the next thing that they advertise is a goat, and the goat is going to go ahead and produce milk, which is pretty interesting because, I mean, right now we only have really one thing to drink, which is uh, water. Um, so anyways, though, yeah, it's going to contain milk, which... I mean, theoretically, yes, you could just drink the milk, but I think the milk is going to actually be used to make even more recipes than we already have, possibly even using the advanced cooking, or, excuse me, the cooking pot, which would be super dope. 
So I can imagine that they're going to be adding more recipes into the game uh, when that part of it comes too. So I can't wait. That's going to be super exciting. The next thing they advertise is the clucker, which like I mentioned is kind of like a hybrid of a uh, an ostrich and a chicken almost. Now it does say that this particular creature is going to lay some delicious eggs, whether or not, oh my goodness, dude there's three hawks, holy cow we're not hawks, seagulls, that's amazing, lay your eggs babies, I don't need no clucker, forget the clucker, we got we got seagulls to get of us eggs. Um, so it kind of raises the, the thought though that, uh, and I apologize my voice sounds like crap, I'm trying to get over this cold. But it kind of raises the thought that what if they might be adding either a new egg to the game or are they going to be just adding another method to get eggs and they're going to be the same type of eggs? Because they do say delicious eggs. Uh, so, you know, it kind of raises the opinion. And I can see that kind of going hand in hand with the new milk. If it is a new egg where, you, you know, that could possibly be in the new uh, recipe. Maybe it could be like eggnog or something like that. Honestly, I have no idea how the heck eggnog is made. Uh, I could be completely wrong on that, but, you know, it makes sense. Are we still not moving here? I forgot to lift up our wrap. Um, but I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, I truly have no freaking clue uh, how eggnog is made, but I, I would assume it's with egg and then some sort of milk or something, and I don't know, I, I, something like that, but yeah. So anyways, that could be used to make something like that. That would be really, really dope. Um, and then the next thing that we have to look at, check this out, a new land enemy and they don't really specify they just kind of say new land enemy it looks like a boar though um but it doesn't i i from everywhere i read it doesn't look like they specify exactly what it is it just says lastly we have added a new large island defender chances are you will have to fight this one off before claiming the loot or catching animals to bring to your raft there's going to be a lot more new things added together with these animals so stay tuned for more news, I hope you're as excited about the stuff as we are. So this is extremely interesting. So check this out. So the fact that they're adding a new boar, which is going to give us possibly a new type of meat that we can obtain when we kill it, hopefully. Hopefully it's not like that hawk where we just kill it and you know we get a trophy and whatnot. Um, but hopefully it adds like a new style of meat that we can obtain, some boar's meat, which will further add to the recipes. And now the other thing, these new animals, you can put them on your raft. They said they have already finished the coding to be able to get the animals to stay on the raft as well as on the island. And did I miss this island or are we just now passing it? I can't even tell. I can lose my mind over here. Oh my god, what are we doing? Oh no. Um, so yeah, so they've already finalized all of that, so what else could they really be working on? It kind of raises the question, you know, what are we waiting for? Um, I'm excited as heck to get these freaking new animals up on my raft over here, so uh, I personally cannot wait, because I have a feeling what we're going to end up doing is kind of taking all of this out, maybe flattening the roof, put it up there, and then we'll make this lower pit into the animal's den. Now, I don't know if that's going to be big enough or not. I have a feeling it should be, um, but it's really it's going to be a tight call because, you know, they say that if they don't have enough room, they're not going to be happy. And if they uh, if you don't feed them, you're going to have to feed them as well, which is, you know, another thing to have to worry about. So there's a lot that's going into this, which explains why it's taking just so long to accomplish all of this. Um, but it, it's going to be very interesting. And it's going to add a lot, a lot of new mechanics to the game, um, especially if we can finally add something to our raft to make it a little bit more exciting. So we're not just running around by ourselves. Imagine, yo, you're going to have very soon a llama on your freaking raft with you. So that is super dope. So I think that's kind of, you know, if they said they've already gotten the coding done. Uh, on how these new animals are going to stay on the raft and stay on the islands. That's completed. That's working. Uh, so they may be working on, like, you know, maybe the textures. Uh, maybe it's the movements aren't, you know, the, maybe the movement of it all is a little bit choppy still. And they're trying to clean up that. Or maybe they're just working on getting some of the final, like, recipes and stuff done. So the next question is, when can we expect this, you know? Well, you know, that's the big question that we all want to know is, when is this huge update coming? Well, based on what they have told us, you, there's a couple of, you know, things that we can expect uh, as to when it may be coming. And that is hopefully before Christmas, because they did specify with Christmas approaching, 
you know, so that could, you know, indicate in some cases, you know, that, <coughs> excuse me, that could indicate that, you know, maybe they are waiting for the uh, Christmas time to come to, you know, enlighten us with this brand new update, which would be really dope, or maybe they're just waiting for, uh, you know, for everything to finish, maybe we'll get it before Christmas. But at the same time, let's take a look at their history. So when they first announced the large island, which, I mean, let's kind of put this together. You know, it's a large island. They added some new recipes. They added the uh, the cooking pot. They added, you know, uh, new uh, foods, new items, uh, a new enemy. They announced that back in uh, late July, early August, somewhere right around that time. And then we got it just around, uh, I think it was November, mid-November or so. So, you know, can we expect that same, you know, almost a four-month track, right? July, August, September, October. Uh, you know, we'll say August because it was a little closer to August. So that's four months, August, September, October, November. That's four months that we had to wait for that big-ass update, which, don't get me wrong, it was a huge update, but that's a long time to be waiting for an update to come. You know, I like my updates quick and swift, although I do want them done correct, and I appreciate all the attention to detail that they put into it. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. But, yeah, let, you know, let's, let's kind of put that into perspective. They announced the Llama, you know, just earlier last month, so early November, I think it was, that they announced that they were working on the llama right after they announced or right after they released the new large island update. So if that's the case, could we be looking at not getting this update till February? Theoretically, I highly doubt it. If they've already completed the coding for this, then I really don't think that they're going to be taking that much longer. I really think they're just working on getting some of those final little things kind of fixed with it. And then we should be seeing this update hopefully before the new year. And oh boy, you bet if this update comes, we are going to be playing a lot, a lot more Raft Survival. Because we are going to have the biggest farm on the entire ocean. And we are going to have a ton. What did I do? Did I take all this stuff out of my inventory or what was I doing just now? Was I like going backwards? Or did I? Oh, I crafted it already. Oh my freaking god, I'm losing my mind, dude. It's the sickness, I'm telling you. I'm like dying over here. And I did get some more feathers. One of the things I want to try out, we might not do it this episode, but I do want to try it soon. Uh, but I want to try to go and kill the freaking hawk, because we have yet to kill a hawk. We we have shark heads, we have puffer fish heads, we have everything but a hawk head. And, uh, well, I want that hawk head. That, that hawk head is mine. And I am completely losing my voice. I do apologize. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get up onto this island real quick. Uh, it's, we're not going to be doing too much. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, what was going on with that update, when we can expect to see it, and why the heck I cannot get up onto this island here, or onto this, um, this, uh, this, this whole thing here. What the heck, dude? I swear to God, dude, they broke this freaking game. Once they added, I don't know, I forget what update it was, but they, oh, there we go. They did some update where it just makes it impossible to get up onto these freaking islands now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. I seriously, I'm, I'm so sorry. My voice, like, I, I had a cold the last couple of days, and it has just been literally taking its toll on my body. Um, that's why I haven't even posted any videos almost all week. I posted a couple of uh Seven Days to Die videos, which, by the way, if you guys have not checked out the Seven Days to Die series, please take your time to do so. It is a pretty dope series. If you're into zombies and you're into this this kind of game where it's like survival horde type crafting, um, it, it's <laughs> yeah, because we have zombies uh, flying around our uh, raft. No, but if you're into survival games and stuff like that and the open world aspect, definitely I would recommend taking a look into. Um, that, that series, because it is a pretty, pretty dope series, um, so please feel free to check it out, but, yeah, so let me know what you guys think, though, down in the comments section about this new update, what do you think some of the new features could be, uh, coming along with these animals, so, you know, they tell us they gotta be kept safe, they gotta be kept fed, they tell us they can die, which is, what is that, Rod Bloma, pick up Rod Bloma. What is that? 
What? Why is a red flower called Rod Blomer? Did I totally read that wrong? Yo, that did not say red flower before, I promise you. Am I literally losing my mind? Bro, I'm going to have to check this back out during the replay. Did that say red flower? I swear it said Rod Blomer. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm completely losing my mind. Maybe I'm sicker than I thought I should go see a doctor. Holy cow, dude. I swear to god that said Rod Blomer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am losing my mind. Um, anyways, though. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyways, though, yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you think are some of the things that we can see coming with this update? What do you think, you know, what do you think these new animals are? Are you excited for it? Do you think they're going in the right direction? Or did you kind of was hoping for something maybe a little bit different out of this next update? I want to know. I want to see what you guys think. Because uh, my, you know, my personal opinion, I think it's going to be a pretty sick update you know especially being it oh my god what did i just do to my food holy cow dude my food is through the roof do you guys see that look at my food holy what did i just do is it growing more oh my god Bro, that's shark meat stew. I think that's what we just ate, wasn't it? Isn't that what we made? Shark dinner. Bro. Our food is skyrocketed through the freaking roof. That is sick. Holy cow. I wish we had something that could give us a boost to our health. That would be really cool. Do these things tell you what they do? A recipe that can be cooked in a pot. Can I take, uh, which one was it? The shark dinner. Well, remember, two shark meat. I just want to see, does this tell you that it gives you a boost? I don't think the other ones did that, unless we just never ate enough of it. That is crazy, though. Look at that. I don't even know what it's doing, dude. I have no idea. But it just skyrocketed our food through the roof. Holy cow. That was cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm super excited. But yeah, I think the game plan for when that comes, we're going to clear all this out, flatten the roof, put everything up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe we'll move this and have it like face that way or something. We'll have a door here. Or maybe we'll do like a double door here if it's got to be big enough to fit the animals. I'm going to assume they're going to add maybe some new kind of, uh, maybe some new kind of like fencing and stuff. To be able to, you know, con contain the uh, animals within your raft. So, it's really cool. I'm super excited for this update. I think it's really going to add a lot to the game. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys like the way the direction is going with the with this. And um, I hope you guys like this cool little trick. I, I just learned this. I had no idea it did that. But, uh... Feel free, you know, if you guys like it, enjoy it. But we're gonna, uh, we're gonna start to head to another island. Um, and in the next video, I, I apologize, this was a very short video. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, kind of get that out of the way, let you guys know. Raft is not going anywhere. We are still going to be playing a ton of Raft. I just wanted to talk about that new update that's coming up. See what your guys' opinion is. And uh, oh my God, look at all these eggs and feathers we got. This is genius, dude. Yeah, that is a genius idea to put multiple ones. Maybe I'll line the whole thing with that. We need to get more clamshells, though. But, um, yeah, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. I apologize, not longer. Like I said, I just want to talk about that. My voice is killing me. I really don't want to be talking too long. I do kind of want to get a 7 Days to Die video posted as well, so i got to save some of my energy for when that comes. So, yeah, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button if you did. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out because you already know as soon as that new update hits, we are going to be going balls to the walls and posting tons of videos as we capture all the new animals that this game has to offer. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see ya.